31 laps before someone drives into Sunoco Victory Lane. Green flag. Harvick even with Johnson at the start finish. Jimmy pulls away just a little bit. Kenson got a good restart, but can't capitalize. Harvick right with Johnson off turn two. Boy, Kevin Harvick jumped in that throttle, <laughs> trying to get that run. It just wouldn't quite stick over there in turn two. Tell you what, you better get some going when he's behind you because he's a hungry hound. Is it closing time? <laughs> it might be. We know where he came from today. <laughs> That's right. Watch the 29 of Kevin Harvick and how he is able from the inside to stay with Jimmy Johnson as they roll through turns one and two under green and come off the corner solidly in second place. He's already led 271 today and he's pulling away from Kevin Harvick by a couple of hundreds per lap. And Harvick has carved a tenth off of Johnson's lead, but it's 1.4 seconds with 12 laps to go. Yeah, well, with 12 laps to go, Jimmy now being a little on the conservative side, thinking about what if there was another caution. He and Chad Canals, most of these guys are thinking, what would I do if there were a caution now? Three Chevys, a Ford, and a Toyota in the top five. Winner at Darlington. Eighth on the all-time win list. Seventh Dover win, trying Rick, tying Richard Petty and Bobby Allison for the most here. Jimmy Johnson wins the FedEx 400, benefiting Autism Speaks, his 57th career win. Wonderful, wonderful job, everybody. Jimmy, you whipped them today, man.